Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're gonna decorate my front porch for fall. I've got a couple things out um, that I had made that I put out to take pictures for it and just left them out, but I have um, other stuff out and then, yeah, it needs to be cleaned and stuff put out. So that's what we're gonna do today. I was kind of waiting for the weather to shift. Yesterday was a high of 95 and then the wind blew and the rain came and then overnight, it cooled down and today's high is like 75. So fall arrived and um, we're gonna decorate. I don't do a ton of decorate with me videos because I don't know, it takes me a while to like try things out, figure out what I wanna do. But um, I'm gonna do this a little more casual, like chatty style, I think. Um, but yeah, let's get the porch ready for fall. in the sun. I will link some videos with my um, DIYs, but I had made this this year and originally I put in a small little pot, but it looked disproportionate. So I want to put this, I think, in my bushel basket. Um, so probably should start with that. We tend to get a lot of wind, so I don't do any like blankets or pillows or anything like that. I will maybe on our back patio once we have furniture back there, we got that screened in. I'm looking forward to doing stuff with that. I just have some um, rocks and bricks and stuff that I'm gonna fill this with. I wish there was a little less sun at the moment. Not complaining, much cooler breeze than it's been, but I'm still feeling pretty warm. I have this um, bale of hay from last year. I kind of forgot about it and I did save it. I hadn't gotten wet or anything. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. It's not a huge one. Whew, made a mess. I try to place it once and not have to move it around a lot because it is messy. Once it's in place, it's fine. I abandoned this side because I'm just not sure yet what I'm doing. Golf cart going by. That's a sign I had made, I think last year. Wow. Look at this guy. He has seen better days and he will not be used. He still has a tag on his head, but I mean, that's pretty, <laughs> that's pretty bad. So our porch gets a lot of sun. So things fade so quickly, um, which is why I like to like buy my stuff really cheap or make it because after a couple of years, it's so faded. And I'm realizing some of the stuff is pretty well faded, but it's gonna be okay. These are some Dollar Tree pumpkins and I just stick a wooden skewer I stick a wooden skewer in them to help them not blow away um, and they'll hopefully stay put a little bit better. But look, can you see the color it was? I don't know if you can tell, it's so bright out. This is like the color it was last year and this is the color the top is. So it's faded, but this is just one of those styrofoam pumpkins that I painted my own color of orange and I put a little wood stem on top. So they're cute, but they're faded. I do have this lantern. Um, I'm guessing there's no batteries in it because I usually take batteries out. So, but it is on a timer. So I'll probably put this out. It's quite dirty as is everything that's been outside. So 
sometimes I put a table, well normally there's like a table over here by our two rocking chairs and I'll put some decor on that, but I think I'm just gonna skip that this year. Hopefully we'll be spending most of our time on our back patio once we get our furniture. Sorry for these awful angles. I also can't even see what I'm doing because it's so bright on the phone. I have only recently had my husband collecting some pine cones from me that are tree in the back puts off. They're pretty good size, but they're pretty porky. Anyways, I need more of them. So we're gonna go hunting in the back and see if we can find some. Although it is much cooler and very beautiful out, um, considering I'm doing work in the sun, probably could have been fine in shorts today. But I had gotten dressed because we went to a uh, chiropractor, not chiropractor, dentist appointment. Before we do, I'm gonna show you, before we go look for the pine cones, I'm gonna show you our back patio because I have not been out here with the camera to show you what it's looking like. All right, so it's all screened in. They did a really good job on it. There's a big old, woo, something's flying at my face. Let's go in. So Jesse um, painted the floor with like a concrete paint and he did just hang up a ceiling fan. First one we got, um, he had us in back. And then the first set of chairs we got didn't get shipped. So we had to get a refund on those. <laughs> I think the table's in, I think the table is in our garage. Jesse has to put that together and hopefully the chairs will be here. It, but it might not be for another couple weeks, but love how it came out. And um, I can't turn this on because I think Jesse brought the remote in last night just because I guess there's no real place to leave it out here right now since there's no furniture. But really nice fan, the dimmable light and stuff. We're going to hang some like Edison lights up here, hopefully. And um, I want to get our outdoor rug. So we'll see. Hopefully in the coming weeks we can finish this. And this is this is great. This is shaded. This is I could hang out out here, but our front porch is all sun and I'm so sweaty. All right, let's go find some pine cones. We did have some pretty good winds yesterday, so I knew some more pine cones had fallen and I already see a handful of them. You know, free decor. Now, if you wanna use these inside, um, you'd have to look it up, but there is a method where you can put them in the oven at like a low temperature for a certain amount of time just to make sure you're killing off all of the bugs, which I would recommend if you're gonna use them indoors, but I'm just gonna use them out on my porch, so I'm not worried about it. All right, that's pretty good. Whoa, almost slid and fell. Let's go back to the front. All right, so I have pine cones, some fake floral like leafy stuff, and some pumpkins. So I need to find a little bit of filler so that to like probably just some plastic bags or something to fill up the bottom here and then we'll start adding the stuff in and then I should be able to stand this up better. I would love for that to be like stood up, but we'll see. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe I need to put this to the back. I'm using the brick because it kind of has a little hole for the handle. So maybe that's better. All right, so I threw in some plastic bags and then pretty much all the leaf garland um, just to kind of be a filler. Put some in the back there. Now we're going to put our pine cones in. I might just dump the whole bag because I don't want to touch them. They're kind of porky. Some of these, ouch, some of these are really good size. Some are a little smaller. I did like about half the pine cones. Mix in some pumpkins. I don't really know what I'm doing, guys. I'm just taking all my fall stuff. Sorry, really bad camera work. I got more pine cones I can add in as well. We're just kind of going for like a little fall basket. I have put like lights in here too, around the leaves, which is very pretty, but just don't feel like it. I don't feel like it this year. And now I'm gonna add in some more pine cones. Again, these are so porky. This is all stuff that I've just had from over the years. I made this this year. Like I said, I'll um, link a video for that. I made this. They're all in the same video. Um, and I painted this doormat. Um, everything else I've had 
some of it I've made, but I've made previous years, so. All right, someone's pressure washing nearby, but this is what I'm doing as my water bottle, but pretty simple. Like I said, I'm not doing anything over here with the chairs. Um, I don't put pillows and blankets out because it's pretty windy and I feel like I would just be chasing them down all the time. And so, yeah, it's nothing major, but it's cute. It's warm, it's welcoming. Love this little area. Try to secure things down as much as possible. I do wish I had put a bigger base on that piece. Um, so I'll include the video for that, but I would make a bigger base and I think I might add to it. Um, and then I just left my, uh, this still up on the door and I added a little burlap bow. So yeah, nothing major, but it's cute. And I didn't really spend any money. I mean, I did when I made a couple of these things, but they were minimal cost. This was mostly scrap from my dad's garage. So anyways, that's it. Now it's officially fall because my porch is decorated. All right, so I came inside, got a shower and ate a bowl of cereal because I was hungry. I had not eaten yet today. So I am just going to, before I end this video, I'm going to add in a dessert recipe that I made earlier this week that I filmed just figuring I'd want to share it with you. And I'm going to just share it in with this video. So check out this yummy dessert recipe. All right, guys. So I decided to share a dessert recipe because I was making it. And so I figured why not share it? We're going to be making blondies. We have small group tonight um, for church and I'm bringing dessert. So well, let's get started on this. I have a half a cup or one stick of unsalted butter. Um, actually, it needs to be Melt it. It's very, very, very soft, but I just realized the directions say to melt it. So I'm going to melt it. Okay, so we have that melted. We're going to add in a half a cup of packed light brown sugar. I would use dark, I would use whatever I have. I happen to have light, but just for your sake, if you don't bake a lot, just use what you've got. All right, so a half a cup of brown sugar. And then we want a third a cup of white granulated sugar. Making sure I'm using the right measuring uh, things. We're going to mix this together. Probably actually don't need to use the mixer since this is all melted, but I already have it out, so I'm going to use it. And we're going to add in one teaspoon of vanilla. I'm just going to eyeball that. And one egg at room temperature. All right, we're going to add in one cup of flour. I'm going to scoop it into my measuring scoop because I want to use... I don't want to dirty another one, but I don't want any of that sugar to get into my flour container. This is a half a scoop or half a cup, and I need a cup worth of flour, but just trying to save myself a little bit of dishes. And then we're going to add in a quarter teaspoon of salt. I'm going to mix this just until combined. I am going to switch to a spatula because um, it does caution very much about over mixing. <laughs> so, so we'll just finish this by hand really quick, making sure the over mixing, I think it makes them too chewy. I can't remember, but you don't want to over mix it. Just trying to combine all that flour. Definitely could have avoided the mixer altogether today, especially with the butter being melted. But okay, now we're going to fold in one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. That's what the recipe calls for. I imagine you could use something else if you wanted. Obviously, any type of chocolate chips, white chocolate chips, whatever. And obviously that was not an actual measurement. We're just gonna fold these in. All right, and I've got my eight by eight baking dish. It did say to butter the pan, which I actually wasn't going to do, but I ended up just using the, the wrapper from my stick of butter. Um, and then it says to butter it and then line it with parchment paper. I don't know why, if you know why, let me know. But um, I ended up doing it because I had that butter wrapper. So I'm gonna spread these out. I'm just gonna sprinkle with a few more chocolate chips. I'm gonna just lightly kind of press them in. I have Hard boiled eggs boiling on the stove, if you can hear that. <laughs> um, just getting a little ready for dinner tonight um, ahead of time. And we're gonna bake this for 30 minutes or until the top is golden brown and a toothpick comes out clean. 
I am just letting this pan cool completely on a wire rack here, but they look good and smell good. And my dishwasher is going in the background and it seems kind of loud. Not sure if it's loud on the camera, but if you hear it, that's what it is. But um, yeah, toothpick came out clean. Edges are golden brown. Looking forward to cutting into this. Forgot to show these before we brought them, but um, we only brought a couple back because most of them were eaten. Everyone really liked them and they're very good. All right, guys, that's going to do it. We've got a little fall decorating, a little fall baking, and we're going to call it good. I don't have a what's for dinner video for you this week because, well, we had nachos, salads. Um, we went out to eat and tonight we're having leftovers. So didn't really have anything to share with you. So hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.